Hey y'all, it's me again. Same day, because <laughs> I know I have on the same clothes. It's because I did so many videos within a day's span. So um, today's topic is going to be about church for me. Um, I don't get a lot of backlash, but I do get some, um, you know, when I talk about church, when I talk about God. Um, not on my channel, just in life in general. So, um, anyways, let me get right into it. Initially, growing up in a family that attended church, I went to church a lot with my, uh, my aunt on my mom's side and with my grandmother on my dad's side. So, Going to church for me every Sunday pretty much became routine. I knew about God. I knew about him sending his only son to die for our sins. I knew about all of that. I got baptized, all of that. But it wasn't until 2009 when I decided to walk down the aisle and join church for myself. So, in 2009, I became a member of um, FWBC. And from 2009 all the way up until 2014, I was just pretty much going to church. I wasn't in Bible study. I wasn't in ministry. I was just going because, you know, it was routine for me. I took notes, and that was it. I took notes, never went back to reflect on my notes. I prayed maybe a couple of times. Um, when I joined ministry in 2014, um, I enjoyed it, but because I was double-minded and I was um, straddle fence, and this is just me being transparent, I was not able to reap the full benefits of me participating in ministry because my private life did not reflect my church life and my church life did not reflect my private life and so i was just very conflicted then i became pregnant and decided to just leave the ministry um all in all so from 2014 to 2015 i was in ministry from 2015 all the way up until now I had been out of ministry, and then I decided to rejoin this year, 2019, maybe like late October, early November, somewhere up in there. And it's been because I've been going to church. Um, in 2018, I went to church sporadically, and it was the same thing, you know, me taking notes, but not applying what I was learning in church, not not applying it in my everyday life. It wasn't until um, the, the application of what I was learning in the sermons didn't come until I was getting ready to make the transition from being a married woman into being divorced. That's when the application began to just really start. And that's when I was just, you know, God, this is what I want to do. I want to be changed. I want to be bettered. All of that. So I started taking church um, a little bit more personal. I started taking God more seriously because I didn't want to react to circumstances that were falling apart in my life. And I knew that I needed to be kept so I can make the right decisions in my life. And so people think that because you go to church that you, you have to be changed. No. At least not for me. Um, church for me wasn't necessarily about changing me. It was about bettering me. And the more I decided that I wanted to better myself, the more I decided that I wanted to align more with God, I started changing my ways, my thoughts, how I reacted to people, situations. 
So with, for me, church wasn't about change. It was about bettering who I was as a person. And then as I became a better person, I started changing. And um, that may be confusing um, to, to some of you all, but I really hope that I'm explaining it in a way because people feel like, oh, you, you have to be this way or you have to be that way to go to church. No, we, we all sin. We all fall short. We are all not worthy. But God knows our hearts and God really knew my heart and he really knew that I just wanted to be a better person. And so as I started really paying attention and really taking notes and reflecting over my notes and journaling and praying to God about how I wanted to do this and how I wanted to, to do that and how I wanted to be this and how I wanted to be that, my mindset changed. I started thinking that I was better than the situations and the circumstances that I was in. And once everything in my mind changed, and I started letting go and just really surrendering my life over to God, that's when all of my change started. Because you, you can't pray, you can't talk to God about, this, about what, what you want, and then not surrender control. Because if you're praying, and you're still trying to control what's going on in your life. You're going to be in conflict with yourself. You have your good self. You have your bad self. You want to do good. You want to do bad. And you're controlling when you're doing good. You're controlling when you're doing bad. And so if you're trying to control your emotions, you're going to be in conflict. And for me, I was in constant conflict because I was praying for what I wanted, but I was still trying to control how I got it. And so when I completely decided that I no longer wanted the control, I started transitioning into being a better person. Me being a better person changed how I got there. And so that has, that to me has what been, what that to me sorry, has been what church has been for me. Church for me was not about change. It was about bettering myself. And as I bettered myself, I changed. And so what has church been for you? Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Please share and let's get interactive. See you next time.